Dominic Koenig for FerrisStateBulldogs.com, standing next to the head coach of the Ferris State hockey team, Bob Daniels. And last time we talked and we were going to Erie, Pennsylvania. Now we're back. It was a 3-2 victory. And coach, just your thoughts on the first game. Wow. Um, well, I mean, the only game, yeah, third game. But uh, well, in thoughts were real positive. I, first of all, real appreciative of playing Mercyhurst. Wow, did they ever work hard. Yeah. I mean, my God. Now we've played three games against what I consider to be two very good opponents that really compete hard. And all this is helping to prepare our team to be better when we finally get to a WCHA play where we're going to have to compete. So I was really, really happy with the way we played. I was happy with the way Mercyhurst played. I thought they played a whale of a game. Um, now going forward here, you know, it, it, we, we got to stay with us though. And, and uh, I'm seeing some other things I like. I really liked a lot of the freshmen. There was a lot, I thought that they had a lot of contributions. And so, you know, we're not where we want to be. I mean, we need to get better to win I mean, in a consistent basis. But I like the fact that we're seeing from day to day, we are seeing progress, not based on wins and losses, just based on actual performance. Speaking of performance, one of the cool things that happened with Ferris State on Tuesday night was getting production from the fourth line. And anytime you can get production from your fourth line, it's always huge for a hockey club. And just your thoughts on Babinski, you know, finishing off and getting the Bulldogs in a crucial goal at the time to get on the board. You, you talk about that's exactly, we went over video today and that's what well, we, we showed that goal. The fact that we were down one nothing on the road against a team that was unbelievably hungry. And for that line to step up and score that goal at that time, that was really a big, that was a pivotal moment in that game. And whether it was Seth Adams, it was McDonald and it was uh, Babinski and I really appreciated the honesty in their game like they, they it, it wasn't just that shift and I, they were rewarded by the fact that all of a sudden we're down to three minutes I knew they were gonna pull a goalie because uh, you know uh, their coach is, is a guy that generally uh, will pull the goal early I mean just as he's, he's kind of a, a risk taker and he, he was willing to pull it at the two-minute mark but you know we had that line out there for the simple reason they were performing so well and, and they were just playing good, honest hockey. Let's take a look at now, headed this upcoming weekend. It's the home opener for Ferris State. The Bulldogs host in the St. Lawrence Saints. And so, just what are you expecting this upcoming weekend? Well, I, you know, more of what we've seen. Um, but, but maybe they've got, uh, like I thought Colgate had some of the highest end of the talent we've seen in a while in terms of their top line. Well, I think St. Lawrence has got the same thing coming through the door here with uh, uh, Greg Carey. Yeah, kid, he, I think if everything's, I remember, right, he led the nation in goal scoring last year. He led the nation in power play goals last year, and he's walking in our door, you know, as a senior. Now, that's a good hockey player. Last time we had one of those guys kicking around, his name was Chris Kunitz. So my point is, he's good. They have a really good team. Uh, they're well coached. Uh, I think, I, again, we couldn't have had this set up any better to prepare our team as we're going to move into the WCHA because I know we're in for, you know, uh, uh, two really good hard-fought games. I don't know if we informed you yet, but walking onto the bus Tuesday afternoon before the game, uh, we found out that the Dog Pound officially sold out in season tickets, second consecutive year in a row after expansion as well. I mean, you got to say that that's, that's all good news for Ferris State going into uh, this upcoming season. It really is good news, and first I'd like to thank the students. I mean, uh, what, a, what a great student body we have here, whether it's the football, volleyball, hockey, whatever whatever they're an engaged student body I mean they're actively engaged and they're engaged in the social organizations too and in, 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 in the RSOs and uh, you know I just I like it I like Fair State for that reason we have a vibrant student body and then for them to come out and then yourself and John Coles and Rob Bentley and, and the interns uh, what a great job I mean the communication through the social media that we have nowadays is second to none and I think it's a lot of things coming together working in harmony like I said said right from our students to our engaged faculty uh, to the people like yourself that encourage these students to be engaged what what a terrific thing and and it's great for hockey and it's great for all athletics taking a look at the Saturday uh, Susan P Wheat Lake fund Ferris State uh, going to be donning pink sweaters breast cancer awareness I mean that's I think the first time in program history it's got to be a pretty fun night Saturday wow so Simone Denis deserves a ton of credit he started this uh, Simone's one of our defensemen he started this uh, as an intern pro project this summer for John Coles. John gave him the go-ahead. John and him together ran with it. The Susan P. Wheat Lake Foundation uh, that's raising money to put on a, a cancer treatment center in Reed City that's part of the Macosta County Spectrum Health Center uh, hospital program. I mean, it's going to benefit everyone. And what we're, you know, what we're going to do the easy part. We're going to don some pink jerseys. You know, we're going to we're going to try to do be as supportive we can. Hopefully, we can raise some money for a very worthwhile project. 
but you know Susan Wheatlake and, and her husband Frank have, have you know for them to have that vision to try to give back to the community uh, for Simone then to say okay well this is a small part we can play and he did all the work on it along with John Coles but uh, we got the easy part now we just got to go out and play hockey. Well, Simone, uh, coach gave you tons of credit uh, looking in ahead to this Saturday Pink in the Ring game. Just kind of, you know, as interning with athletics this summer, what you had to go through to get this. Because I know that when we talked a couple uh, years ago that you said, why don't we have one of these? And then, look, tomorrow, or this upcoming weekend, and here it is, and it's because of you. So if you can, just elaborate. Yeah, no, I mean, I, uh, I was excited to get the opportunity to do the internship with John Coles this summer. And uh, once I got that opportunity, you know, Pink in the Rink was something that I really wanted to do and something that I was passionate about. And, I mean, breast cancer has touched so many people's lives, and I mean, we got people in this locker room that know how it feels, so it's definitely something that we saw the opportunity, and I really wanted to jump on it, so I worked with uh, a certain jersey company, and I got the uh, the quote, and I got the design for the jerseys, and once I went through that, I got it approved by John Coles, and through that, you know, we uh, we set up a meeting with YoPlay, and YoPlay was uh, was very generous in giving us a sponsorship to, uh, to really put on the event, and we're doing it for a great cause in the Susan P. Wheat Lake Foundation, and that's, uh, I mean, it's going somewhere local, which really matters to a lot of people here, and I mean, it's going to be a great cause, and I mean, we're excited to wear pink jerseys, so that'll be uh, a change of pace, but uh, I mean, all in all, with the uh, paint big wrap, it's pink and everything, it goes for a great cause, and uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Justin, you had a pretty sweet goal this uh, past Tuesday in Pennsylvania. You came flying off the bench, just let one go, top right-hand corner. You know, how to feel to get that, uh, get your first one, get the monkey off your back for the season? You know, it felt awesome, especially because we're playing, um, you know, it's my senior year here and it took me, you know, a while to get my first goal coming in as a college player and to get the first goal, you know, the third game into the season, it's always a great thing and it all happened because uh, Corey Kane they had a great four check coming off the bench, he battled the guy in the corner and uh, kind of pushed the puck out in front of the net and I was lucky enough to uh, just walk into it and fortunate to have a nice bounce and make it look good at least to go top shelf. Home <laughs> opener versus St. Lawrence, what are you expecting? Hopefully a sold out crowd here, you know, a nice crowd to get us going and uh, definitely get uh, two wins here. That's our goal, obviously, but, you know, most part, you know, just come out and establish our force on the home ice. You know, it's a different, we've played three road games, so hopefully we get the jump coming back home here and, uh, you know, like I said, get two wins.